Hi guys, Sandy from So Easy by Sandy here and today we'll be finishing our pinwheel lab quilt by making the quilt sandwich which is the top, the bottom and the batting in between. Free motion quilting it and adding the binding to finish it off. We have a lot to do today, so let's get to it. So first we make our quilt sandwich with our lovely top, our cotton batting and our colorful bottom. What do you think of this combo? Will it work out? I guess we'll find out, won't we? Next, to base the three layers together with pins and a little bit of temporary adhesive to give it a hand. Okay, now for the free motion quilting. <laughs> there is a lot I could say about free motion quilting and I know how scared most people are of it, but for me, it is my favorite way of finishing a quilt. The overall look is lovely, it is very forgiving as far as imperfections go, and it's just fun to do, really. The main issue here is for all the sewing machines I've used for free motion quilting before, the settings were always different, meaning you have to find out what works for your sewing machine. For example, for this machine right here, I can't drop my feed dogs because it completely ruins my tension and it's a big mess. And I'm not even going to tell you how many disasters I had before figuring that one out. The feed dogs, in case you don't know, are those little sort of teeth that pull your fabric under the sewing foot. And for most machines, you need to drop them so the fabric can move around, but for machines like mine, you can't. Also, a new needle and the best possible thread are a must. And gloves for better grip also help a lot. Also, do not forget to fill a couple of bobbins before starting. You know, you do not want to be filling bobbins midway through a project. And let's do this. Couple more turns and it's done <laughs> loving the whole look what do you think that wasn't so hard was it ok 
Okay, now for our last step, which is to add the binding. And if you'd like a more in detail video about making and adding the binding, there's a video I've made you can watch right after this one. For this project, this is my 190 inch binding. Here we go. And that's done! Our lab quilt is complete and looking gorgeous, if I may say so myself. So tell me, what other designs would you like me to try? I'd love to know! So just drop me a comment below with your pick and I will see you soon. Bye bye!